Everyone keep quiet, quiet, because right there in front of us is a European lion. A European lion! Shh! All right, let's end blabbermouth. Here is what a European lion is. The European lion was just like an African lion, though it had one major difference, which was its much wider coat, which we can see here, and the fact that it had no mane whatsoever. Now, more? Now, I bet you're wondering, how we, what's this lion doing in America? Well, while there were also American lions, we chose to go to Europe because it was sort of the happening place during the Ice Age. It was the bomb. So, how did the lion get to Europe anyway? Well, there weren't just lions in Europe during the Ice Age. There were elephants, woolly rhinos, and woolly rhinos, hippopotamus, is, and all sorts of African creatures. Whoa, got a little shaky on my camera work there. In this, in this terrain. The way they got there was that once the climate cooled, they crossed from North Africa, which at the time was full of grassland, to Europe, where there was lots of grasses and wild game they could hunt. But around but around the end of the Ice Age, 100,000 years ago, desert formed in North Africa, separating the more grassier South Africa from the North. And the animals had by this time migrated back south to Africa. So this spelled the end for Europeans African Ice Age. But there was also, but some speculate the European lions survived, as we have accounts from Greece that tell of lions during the time of the Greeks. Though by about the year 1000 AD, the lions were all but eliminated from Europe. Achoo! Uh oh, I think it's hungry. We better run.